Well, victims, survivor groups are not homogenous, obviously. The reactions are as diverse as the reactions that we'll see in our own families, our own communities. Um, communities have been broken, and yet they've come together again, and they have this yearning for justice. The crimes took place in 2014, 15, and 16. Um, I was appointed in 2018. Uh, we came to the ground within three months. We're working as fast as we can do. Uh, the team deserves all the credit. We've got a wonderful team. The team has been working really fabulously to, to achieve some modicum of justice for them. But from their perspective, they're right. I mean, they will also say, look, 2014, where's my mother? 2014, and we're now in 2021 almost. Where's my child? Uh, um, it's extremely painful. And I think we have to give them the space also um, to realize that they have been let down by the international community. What happened was not um, ad hoc or spontaneous. Some of the darkest moments we have witnessed in humanity, I think, have been committed by Daesh, the crucifixion, the burning, throwing people off buildings, the slavery, the sexual slavery putting a weapon into the hand of a toddler, probably couldn't even speak, and uh, making them uh, shoot somebody um, for no other reason than Daesh wanted to make a propaganda video to scare the living daylights out of humanity. And I think accountability is necessary to show the ideology is an Islamic, it is without any proper basis, it is contrary to the dictates of all of humanity, and they failed because rather than dividing Iraq, Iraq has come together.